John Coast Mace R&D. Today we have a, a couple of sleeves sitting here on the lathe. And this is the sleeve that we bought. And we're going to be changing this over so we can use it on a Lamborghini V10 Gallardo block. And it's a bit long and it's a bit thick on the diameter. So we're going to have to take a machine the length and also the diameter of the sleeve to make this work. We're going to show you how this is done. We're starting off with a flange sleeve here, and uh, the uh, sleeve, like I said, is a little bit long. You got to have to come about an inch or so, inch and a half off the bottom. Then we're going to have to cut the diameter down as well, because if we would try and take the, and put this in the uh, engine, the sleeves would run into each other. So I'm going to knock the uh, diameter down, and when you go to set this up, you just kind of rotate the sleeve around a little bit. Bring the center up. Remember you're going backwards on your chuck to tighten this up. It doesn't have to be terribly tight. And bring this back out a little bit, check it. And you just want to put this in so that it supports the sleeve. If you put it in any tighter when the uh, sleeve separates, then uh, you have the pro possibility of the piece jamming and jumping in towards, towards the sleeve and uh, really creating havoc on the bottom of the sleeve. Next we're going to take and cut our length. <clears throat> our uh, veneer has already been set so we're just going to scratch a line here in our sleeve. I'll change from our diameter cutting tool a bit to our parting tool. And we'll rock this around a little bit. Bring this over and you want to take and get this lined up so that the front edge of your parting tool is on the line. Okay, there we go. I'm going to slow the lathe down a bit. And watch to see where your tool bit engages. Right, there we go. You're not going to be taking big cuts on this. You cut it fairly slow, and you're also going to be listening to the ringing of the sleeve and when we get down towards the bottom of the groove where the thing parts off you'll notice that it will change And you hear the pitch slightly change. And that's it. Like I said, if you put too much pressure on your tailstock, it'll push this in so that when it cuts off when it parts it'll jam into the uh, cutter blade sometimes it'll knock the sleeve completely out of the lathe because it jams in there so hard all right well our next step is to change the tool bring our tailstock up and you want to put a little bit of force on this Tighten it down. We've already measured this so we know where we are. And 
You want to take about a 40 thousandths cut. I'm going to speed this up. <clears throat> We're going to stop short of uh, cutting the flange. We'll get close, but not to the flange yet. Not just yet. Right. I can see if you have a good tool bit, you, get, you do get a nice surface finish. This will be able to go right in the uh, hole once we start to press it in. I'm going to take a quick measurement here. to go. I'm going to take off about 30,000 this time. Once again, we're going to stop shy of the underside of the flange. Alright, this has gained a little bit of heat, so we're going to let this set for a little while and cool down so that we can actually measure it and get closer to our final size. We'll be back. It's been about 15 minutes and our sleeve has cooled down nicely. And it looks like we got about seven and a half thousandths to go. The reason I started to lay the back up is to knock all the little pieces of grid off. We're going to stop here and check. 
and see if we're where we need to be. Once again, I'm going to stop short, and then I'll go up and just barely touch the other side of the uh, flange. I'm going to dial the cutter in a little bit, the cutter relief. So that we can put a little bit of sealer up here when we push it in. And that'll make sure that we have a good uh, seal between the sleeve and the top of the bar. Well, there you have it. Um, that's how you modify sleeves. It's uh, not a great undertaking, but you do have to use a little bit of patience and a little bit of skill. And uh, don't be afraid to try this. John Fist Mace R&D, we'll see you soon.